Well, how about the war here in the United States? Weather being used as a weapon. Unconventional war has been an ongoing event here in the United States for many, many years. Well, here is your update on what has been taking place. Three people dead in Oklahoma. Missouri has storms spawned nearly three dozen possible tornadoes in five states. Wow. Three dozen tornadoes were reported in northern Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Missouri. Two people killed in Oklahoma. One died in Missouri. Buildings damaged. Trees are down. Power outages. And at least five people have been injured. And uh, Halleyville, well, lots of homes gone. In the midst of the damage, I keep hearing about the Oklahoma standard. People coming together to help each other rebuild despite all they've lost. So Amanda Lawson said, Sorry, I didn't put it at the beginning. I thought it was at the beginning. Let's try from the beginning. Leeville are coming together to clean up debris after storms swept through the area, damaging more than three dozen homes and businesses. Right now, there is still quite a few people without power. News on 6's Sawyer Bussey has details on the recovery efforts. Damage like this can be seen for miles out here in Haleyville today. Some families have lost their livelihoods. Others have lost their homes. In the midst of the damage, I keep hearing about the Oklahoma standard. People coming together to help each other rebuild despite all they've lost. Samantha Lawson says her son took his first steps in this house. I don't even understand. You know, my son, my son's stuff's in here. My kids' and stuff's in here. Each room is full of memories. This past almost two years have been the greatest two years of my life. Now, because of a tornado, Samantha's memories are covered in insulation, broken pieces of wood, and twisted branches of trees. The house is destroyed. That I've never been so devastated in my life. Kevin Inlow and the entire McAllister Pittsburgh County Emergency Management Team have been working since before the storm hit to make sure people like Samantha have the resources they need to get through the next few days. But what this community has lost is hitting everyone hard. It's my county. 27 homes and three businesses are destroyed. 37 homes and countless businesses have damage. Thankfully, only two people have injuries and everyone survived. People who lost their homes were helping their neighbors. It's those moments of kindness in the midst of loss, like Samantha finding this stuffed animal she got from the hospital the day her son was born. They're giving people strength as they pick up the pieces. And Do you know how many people are picking up the pieces here in our country? Missouri, in particular, you're looking at more tornadoes. After two days of severe storms and tornadoes, tornadoes across the South and Midwest, more severe weather forecasted for tomorrow. The greatest threat for severe thunderstorms will continue over the Southern Plains with a second pocket of severe weather likely over the middle Mississippi and Ohio, Ohio valleys. Well, I'll show you how they are really holding this storm in place. But here, there were at least 30 reports of tornadoes in five states, Tex Texas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Arkansas, Kansas. And a few of the tornadoes were strong. Okay, that's my history page. But how about Canada? And some kind of compensation for the thousands of people who will not be able to move back to their homes, who are flooded out and can't go back. Well, as I said, I mean, this is an enormous challenge for so many people. Um, it's uh, it's a, a climate issue that that is uh, that is not new. That's it's obviously growing. It is not a climate issue. It is. Weather modification, weather being used as a weapon, 
And I so wish that Canadians, Americans, oh, how about the Brits and Scots and the Irish and the Welsh and the French and the Spaniards and Germans and how about you all just do a little bit of research to find out that weather is being used as a weapon to destroy you. Growing in terms of the impact on people, we recognize that. We do have money set aside, of course, in, uh, in disaster relief. Uh, but we'll continue to be talking to the provinces. We'll continue to be understanding the magnitude of the issue. And uh, we obviously want to continue to be. But if I'm a homeowner, can I tap into your disaster relief money, or am well, I? Well, as I as I said, I mean, we are we are going to continue to be uh, supportive. Uh, we have an approach <laughs> for support already, but uh, but we do recognize that uh, that this challenge is is so significant. Thank you. You know what? They steal our money, and then they they create these disasters, and then you're left with oh, well, we're going to support you. Uh, so many people are not able to recover from these man-made disasters. Safety watch. Now is the time to start preparing for wildfires and flash flooding. So community meetings being held around Colorado Springs to make sure you are prepared to keep you and your family safe. News 5's Katie Blaze live. All right, I will link below to that if you need any, uh, Safety tips, you guys in Colorado. It's now time to prepare for those fires and the flash flooding. Great. Well, what are we going to be looking at this summer? How many fires, how many flash floods are going to be taking more and more of us out? Davenport, no, I'm sorry. Dearborn Heights, Michigan. So This kind of flooding, do we see this kind of flooding? I mean, it did, all right, this should be begging questions. When you see this in Oklahoma, Iowa, Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, Michigan, when you see this kind of flooding happening over and over and over again, uh, that doesn't even beg questions in people's minds when the weather modifiers have even said, hey, we can create more rain over larger areas for a longer amount of time. And that's Mr. Texas Modifier, the Texas Modification Association. I have plenty of videos. Yeah, and I used to put in that guy saying just that, so in the hopes that it would wake up Americans. But I guess people just don't care. We've got weather modification associations. We have commercial weather modification companies. We have documents up the wazoo, military, white papers, all on weather modification, but we can't get through to people. Well... When you can't get through to people, this is what you see. And we will be seeing this in more and more areas. Many areas are experiencing the repeat hit over and over again. And, well, when the people just sit back and allow these things to happen, they take advantage and they destroy you. Oh, wow. Detroit, Michigan. These aren't old. This is what has happened. Just in, well, uh, the recent two days. Okay, well, 
what you're gonna you're thinking it's climate change it's global warming that's what is doing this you're believing liars great great well when you believe liars you suffer the consequences of those liars Davenport Iowa. Jim, we are here at River Drive and Main Street. We're about a half a block down from Bright House Farmer's Market. I'm going to go ahead and step out of the way. You can see we are at street level. It is completely submerged at this point. You can see the water is going. Now, we are seeing car tires in the water. There's garbage in the water. But now, I did just get off the phone with a spokesperson for the water filtration plant here in Davenport, and she said they built their flood wall back in 2013, and it will hold up to 34 feet. So she says that the good news is everyone's drinking water is safe and should stay that way. Once again, you can see the Centennial Bridge and everything in this area is completely submerged. And now we also want to let people know traffic is backed up. It is bumper to bumper, bridge to bridge. It took us almost 20 minutes to go from Rock Island across the Centennial here into Davenport. So if you can avoid this area, you are strongly encouraged to do so. Once again, it did take us almost 20 minutes from the government bridge to the Centennial Bridge. It is bumper to bumper traffic. Now, once again, you are in this area, try to stay on high ground, keep your distance from this flood water. And if you see any roadblocks or any barriers, they are asking that you please take those seriously, stay away from these waters and keep yourself safe. We're gonna continue. And the Mississippi is rising. That's right, it is rising. So how many levee breaks are we going to be experiencing? How many levee breaks are coming? This was created by a levee break on the Mississippi. And yes, the Lakota Nation is still really struggling. And we've lost uh, hundreds of miles of those roads. It's going to be a long rebuild. And we need President Trump to declare this disaster so we can more capably respond to what we're going through. And we had storms before, we had trains. But this was worse. I mean, this was probably the worst I've seen it. We're in a natural disaster zone. We have people that are still stranded, roads washed out. You know, we've got places where buses won't go to pick up students for school. And we've got families that are still uh, going off without water. I'm to this day every second thinking you know, how am I going to do it? But I have no choice. Have and do, do you know how many Americans, native or not, are thinking, how am I going to do it? Well, the only way that we can survive this is if we band together and help one another. We've got to band together in our communities and help one another. What else do I have? Oh, farming this year, forget about it. We're going to see prices skyrocket. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome. This is what we're dealing with here in uh, the Morris, Illinois area, a little bit west of Juliet, uh, south and west of the Chicagoland area. A lot of heavy rain last night, adding to already flooded uh, farmlands and stuff like that. I mean, you just would be amazed by what I've seen uh, coming back from Nebraska, going out there, you know, through Iowa, especially in Illinois. Uh, a lot of flooding in the farm. So let's pray that the earth kind of opens up and swallows up this water and stores it for a time that we need it. Amen. Uh, so let's pray for the farmers so that they can get their crops in and that they can get a harvest. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> considering that you're looking at an awful lot of flooding in the heartland, well, are they going to be able to get their crops in? This will affect all of us, guys. Every one of us. So, let's just take a quick look. Here's your country. Ah, yes. These states lighting up again. What is going on? From Texas on up. 
up the East Coast. Don't tell me this is just radar and it's just, you know, tracking planes. That would mean that we ain't got any planes here on the West, the, the Western half of our country, but the only in these areas are the planes. Get off it. Get off it. Look at this. Look at this storm. Okay, well, I guess it just doesn't want to leave pretty much um, Oklahoma and Arkansas. Um, I just want to show you. Whoa, baby, we've got high frequency heating going on. That's awful lot. Don't you think? Awful lot of severe storms going on in, well, North Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, going into Kansas, Missouri. And let's look at the composite radar. radar sorry. Um, very quickly, you can go to the sub, and I link below to everything, including these sites. Hit sub regional sector and click on a region, and voila, you've got an awful lot of frequencies occurring in this storm, just like I showed last night. Here you go. All right, well, you're looking at more tornadoes in uh, Missouri, possibly Arkansas. <laughs> you didn't have, I didn't have to go to an article to see that because I can see all of the next red harp rings taking place, all of the extremely low frequencies taking place throughout this entire friggin' storm. Throughout the entire flippin' storm. For those who uh, don't know what I'm talking about, the frequency signatures. Okay, do you see how very defined that line is? Do you see this circular, very defined circular line right here? Circular line right here. Oh, another circular line. Circular and circular and they're intersecting and that means a whole lot of frequencies are at play. These are the harp nexrad rings. And what these signatures mean is that we've got high frequency heating taking place. High frequencies going, they're shooting them up to the ionosphere and bounce back to Earth, create these uh, extremely low frequencies, but we've got the Gwen Towers and we've got transmitter, extremely low frequency transmitter sites, all working to produce storms, to produce this weapon of war. It's called weather, man controlling it. And then you hear about all of the Americans that they've lost their home, they've lost their livelihood, and we're getting to see this on a daily basis. And the economy is not doing well. So, you really think that every American can recover? They're not recovering. In fact, our suicide rate is just shooting up, continues to go up. Americans killing themselves. And you know what? White Americans are dying, killing themselves. Oh, right, teenagers are killing themselves. That's because we've lost our way. We've lost the truth. We're a lost people. If you don't know your own truth, then you can't be anything but a lost people. And lost people don't know how to respond to anything appropriately because they're lost. Look at all of these frequencies. All right, well, 
let's see how many homes are gone tomorrow, how many are dead, how many uh, people have lost their livelihood, let's see how many are sitting in flooded out sections or these so-called tornadoes. It's upsetting, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Next red harboring right here. And what you, you can fill out the entire circle and in the middle of that circle, the surrounding uh, communities pretty much centered in that circle. They can create tornadoes. They can create an awful lot of severe weather. Look at how many, look at how many of these next red harp rings there are throughout this entire thing. All links are below.